Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am here, we're in March, it's so exciting. March is for me anyway because it's my birthday and I am, I've decided I'm going back down in years now. I'm not getting any older, I am now officially getting younger. So my next birthday, because we're going backwards in years, I'm going to be 28 all over again. I'm so excited and I cannot wait. So, hmm. <laughs> oh God, help it. Today we are here to do February's favourites. Now these are just some of the things that I have been absolutely loving. I always try to pick about 10 items and we're just gonna go for it today with you guys. So I'm gonna jump straight in because this is the first thing on my knee. The first thing I've been loving is I've gone back to my Too Faced Boudoir Eye Palette. Now I love this. I don't know why, I just keep going back to it. I just, it's so pretty and so lovely and the colours are fantastic and yeah, I've just been picking it up and it's been my like, kind of like my day to day palette that I keep picking up, oh I'll just, I use a bit of fuzzy hand cloths on my eyes and I'll chuck a bit of, you know, got a belt in the corner and then it's just a bit of sugar walls to jazz it up, but yes, I have been absolutely loving this, so if you can still get it, go check it out because I do actually really like these little palettes and I feel like I need more. And I like the tin. That sounds dead weird, I know, but I do like the tin. I do love the tin. Primark wipes. I am obsessed with these Primark wipes. I cannot tell you how much I'm obsessed with them. They are just, like, my life depends on these Primark wipes. They're always in my empties, regrets and reviews because I get through loads and I just freaking well love them they look like this they can usually be found at the tills they are the maricella facial wipes they are just bloody beautiful they just clean everything and they don't burn me and i have such sensitive skin it is a bonus to find some face wipes that don't hurt my face the next thing that i find myself using a lot is this this is the rimmel london insta flawless now this is not really a foundation. It's more like a BB cream. It, it doesn't state anywhere what it actually is. Um, but when I just say, you can literally just buff it into your face and it gives you this flawless finish. This is light medium and it just, it's thick as well. Like so thick, a little bit goes a long way. I've squeezed too much out before on a beauty blender and let me tell you, I had to wipe half my face off to carry on blending out. There was so much product. But I've had it for such a long time and I've just started picking it up because I've decided that I don't use it often enough and I'm just going to use it even if it is just to get rid of it. I don't know if I'd repurchase this because I've had it for so long but it's actually really good. It is really good. So it deserved a mention in my shout out favourites because let's be realistic, I've been using it a lot. So And if you use it, it deserves to go into your favourites hair care now just only one thing just one thing today i have been loving this percy and reed london it is a volumizing no oil oil no it's not really volumizing and it's still an oil it just doesn't sit like an oil if that makes sense and the reason why i've put this in this is what it looks like by the way the reason why i have put this in today is because I ran out of conditioner. We all know the battle of shampoo and conditioner. Conditioner empties so much faster. And I ran out and I was like, oh! and then you know when you try and brush your hair and it was like dead thick and matty and I was like, I'm gonna use some of this. So I like just did a couple of pumps, ran it through my hair while it was still wet, brushed, oh my God. It was like I had conditioned my hair. It was fantastic. And I keep using it and I only use like two pumps. And it is going down, it's just not going down very quick because I only need two pumps. Fantastic. I absolutely love the stuff. Concealer now. I still love this thing. This is the best thing in the world. This is my collection's lasting perfection concealer. I have it on today. You can still see bags, but I do have a four year old and I don't get to sleep no more. And I'm like heartbroken when I have to get up just to take her to school. It's like the worst part of my day. But it brightens your under eyes so well and I love it so much. It's about £4.19 and I just, wow. That's all I'm saying. The next thing I have been loving is this. This is a Dr. Pawpaw Original Balm. Now this can be used on cuticles, on your lips, on any area of dry skin whatsoever. I got this in a birch box. This thing will focus, even if I make it. So I got this in a birch box and I just never really 
used it. And then one day, just randomly, I was like, I'm gonna start using it. Well, now my daughter uses it and she freaking loves the stuff. It's just, it reminds me of Vaseline, but thicker. That's the only way to describe it. It's like Vaseline, but thick. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I believe these are about £10 to buy. I believe they're a bit bigger. Oh, well, I hope they're a bit bigger for a tenner. But it is really good stuff. And you know if you've been out drinking and your lips are like disgustingly dry the next day? Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Mascara now. You all know if you've been with me for a while, I am in love with Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. I can't get enough of the stuff. But it's £20 and that's like over two hours worth of work I have to achieve just to get that. But there is this. This is my second favourite mascara. It's a bit minging because they keep putting security tags on them and I hate it when they put security tags on things like this. So this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. Granted mine has gone really thick really quick. Like I had to actually remove some and bin some. Um, it, it's kind of going dead gloopy. But I like to use my roller lash, my old roller lash, my old one's drying out, to do my eyelashes first. I get a quick coat and it separates them really well. And I like to go over it with this. And it gives me just some lovely, lovely eyelashes. And uh, this, I think it's eight quid now. You can't really moan at eight quid really for a mascara. You can't. You can't. I just feel like if this formula was in the roller lash because i find this is thicker and you get blacker eyelashes from it but you had the roller lash brush it would be so it would like the best combination in the world that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying the next thing that i keep finding myself picking up is this revolution baked highlighter in rejuvenated it is ditched <laughs> i keep using it it's everywhere right and it just looks like this by the way i will swatch for you look at that <laughs> like look at that i just ah okay what a waste of highlighter and a little bit goes a long way like my whole hand there can i get this on camera my whole hand is like oh i just i love the stuff i'm actually gonna wipe it off now because i don't feel really bad for that so i love it i've never tried revolution before and then i went out and i purchased the advent calendar and that came out the advent calendar and since then i am hooked and like I love that brand. It's such a cheap and cheerful brand. I absolutely freaking love it. And the last two items that I'm here to share with you today is some Jeffree Star. Like, words cannot describe. All right, first off, let's just look at this pot. This pot is the prettiest thing I have ever seen. It is pink. It is glittered. It is freaking beautiful, right? I absolutely love it. So the pot is staying no matter what. I have got this in the flavour, scent, flavour, what everyone's call it, marshmallow. Now, I have noticed that some of my stars are rubbing off, but I'm not bothered because the glitter is underneath the packaging and I'm keeping the packaging forever because it's just so goddamn pretty. So this is a lip scrub and oh my god. When, when you say a little bit goes a long way, a little bit goes everywhere. And I was sat there the other day, look even the bottom's glittery, I love it. I was sat there the other day and I was like, ah, my face is so dry. I'm not gonna lie, I was a tramp. I went out on a night out. I stayed out really late. I woke up the next morning hanging, went to the bathroom and went, damn, my face looks damn. All I did was literally wipe the black from under my eyes, put some new concealer on and a bit of blush and some lip hair, and I went to work. I did brush my teeth, but I went to work. So the next day when I got home, my face was so dry. And I was like, what the hell can I do? And I grabbed this <laughs> with the littlest amount and I scrubbed my forehead and then I moisturized and I did a face mask. My skin has never felt better. Like, oh my God, I loved it. But yes, this is the Marshmallow Lip Scrub. And I love it. And the pot is staying with me forever and ever and ever. And it's never leaving me because it's the prettiest pot I've ever come across. And the last thing is, of course, another Jeffree Star. It is a liquid lipstick. If you guys have not tried a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick, you are missing out in life. They are freaking amazing. And it doesn't charge too much money. I personally don't think so anyway. Like, 
you can go and buy certain brands and certain brands charge you a lot of money for a liquid lipstick or even a normal lipstick let's just go with a lipstick in general they charge you a fortune and they're not that great whereas like he even said it in his new video his new palette is more expensive than his old one but you are getting more shades and he tries so hard to keep it down personally paying 40 quid for an eyeshadow palette i have no problem with i do it with my urban decays it doesn't bother me so i don't mind paying around that price point but some of the companies bring out an eyeshadow palette and they want like 80 quid for it i'm like no it's an eyeshadow palette but so he's reasonably priced i think so anyway and the lipstick i've been loving is one of his christmas lines and this is called christmas cookie it is beautiful it is on my lips and the packaging oh my god i don't ever want to get rid of this packaging i love this packaging it is amazing i just oh i just love it so much it's like my favorite thing ever like the, like let me just say like this one from mac i don't think i will ever get rid of this this is from the mariah carey collection when i have used this lipstick i will more than happy depot another lipstick and put it into here because it's just so damn pretty and i feel like that's the same with this i don't ever want to get rid of it like ever want to get rid of it and if you are listening can you please get champagne tears back in stock somewhere because i'm trying so hard to get hold of it and i cannot get hold of champagne tears and it's doing my freaking nut in. I need that lipstick in my life. There, I've said it, I've put it out there. So that was my February's favourites. I'm so excited for March. I'm so happy about March is here. It's amazing. I'm just like, ah, yes, my birthday is coming up. And I cannot wait. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video and you've made it this far, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, click in this top corner. If you'd like to see a video that YouTube has selected for you, click over in this top corner. And if you have made it this far and you haven't already, click over in the bottom corner. There is a subscribe button. I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. And... Bye-bye.